Welcome to this tutorial. It covers the usage of Motiba Colomo with V-Ray inside 3 Studio Max. We'll use this interior scene that our friend Alex Ruano has lent us. These two teapots are placed in the scene to check how Colomo works with reflections and refractions. This project has no special settings, is just a regular V-Ray configured scene. Notice that we have added a Z-Depth channel, it allows Colomo to support some kind of special effects, like depth of field, or stereoscopic features. If you don't want them, you can disable this channel. After installing the pollutants, the workflow can be easier. You only need to run the provided script, and you will be able to choose what materials and lights want to make changeable. Set the output path, and click on Run button. Automatically N plus 1 processes will be launched in a batch, being in the number of changeable things. Some of them are regular renders and others are just fast mask passes. In version 1.7 these passes are made using a native V-Ray shader. That's all. Easy, right? Now is time to open the scene in Motiba Colomo itself. Let's start playing with the lights. You can change the power, tint the color and so. Since all the bulbs are instanced, you control all them at the same time. The rest of the scene light is controlled through base lights. This feature can create different lighting conditions and ambience from a single render. Ok, that's fine for now. We'll continue with the major feature of Colomo. Change the diffuse property of the materials in real time. You can apply a color correct, change the gamma, saturation, etc., and Colomo calculates the correct reflections and refractions. Also, you can add a color tint. And of course you can replace the texture, and the real-time ratrice reflections and refractions will be performed. We've seen how the floor affects the teapots. By changing the wall's color we'll notice a more advanced effect. Colomo can handle also the color bleeding caused by global illumination. Also the parts non-visible are taken in account. Some problems could appear if your meshes have seams in the mapping. Fortunately the seam feature can handle most of these problems. Once we are happy with our materials we can add post production with Real Camera Plus. Selecting a film we can get a great look. To finalize the look we'll tweak the vignette, the bleach and the chromatic aberration. If the tone map seems too strong, you can fade its intensity. Finally you can adjust the depth of field. Also, the slower mode works in real time in pretty big images. To select the focus point, the most accurate way is using this kind of output mode. Obviously f-stop and focal length modify the amount of blur, and made the sharp zone wider or narrower. 
In example, the lower ref stop, the more effect is rendered. As you can imagine, all this effects are compatible with the previous we already presented. Finally Stereo 3D will be presented. You can create stereoscopic images from this single view. You can control the amount of effect, the amount of parts going out of the screen and into the screen, and the representation mode. There are lots of available modes. Some examples are the classic gray and a glyph to be used with reed cyan glasses. Our novel coherent perception, this one avoids retinal rivalry, meanwhile retains a good amount of color or side by side to be used in modern televisions. Thank you for watching. You can get more info about these products in motibacg.com.